Hey guys, so we're back with another video. This time we'll be looking at the women's 200 meters at the Prefontaine Classics. So this time we have a lot of, lo it's a loaded field. We have Desiree Bryan, we have Tamara Clark, Kembra Stages, Kambunji, the mighty Shelly and Fraser Price, Brittany Brown, Gina Prendini, and Tanich Strand, and Shanti Jackson okay so definitely we're gonna be watching what went down now we know that Shellyan is the reigning world champion in the 100 meters so she's gonna get a bye for the world championship so her focus right now she even stated even on social media that she's mostly focusing on endurance and not speed yet but already her opener was already crazy as it is with a 10-6-7 opener. So I have no idea what she has planned for us this year. But we know that she is still probably aiming at the world record. So let's watch the 200 right now. Of Switzerland coming off a very good indoor season. That's right, she won her first world indoor title. She's long been one of the best sprinters for Switzerland. Three times an Olympic Games finalist. And you talk about a woman that has tremendous speed and she's been to many finals in hundreds and 200 meters. So just so much experience in this event. Surprise winner of the 60 meters indoors. The fastest 60 meter race ever. Kambunji, I always say Kambunji is like a she's always the uh, the missing link that a lot of people don't look at too much you know she's she's definitely in the spotlight now like people will look at her and watch out like okay she might even go faster even in the future so you know in track and field is always unpredictable who could run the fastest that day earlier this year in Belgrade but she does have and she is the 60 meter champion at Belgrade this year so she has a lot to be focusing on she's also a good hundred meter runner too bronze from the 2019 world championships some of the other folks to mention Cambria Sturgis who won the NCAA title last year for North Carolina A&T got the youngster the 17 year old Shanti Jackson who yeah. comes from a pretty good pedigree you may That's remember right. her dad who was the uh, Hurdler Bershawn Jackson, there's Desiree Bryant, ran at the University of Kentucky, one of the hottest starters in the sport. We'll see her in the mix early on, but a very good field, and Jenna Prandini close to home. That's right, and Shanti Jackson is senior field there. She's the only high schooler in the sprints here, and that's a big deal. So many great high schoolers have come here and gone on to do great things. I believe that Shanti Jackson will be one of those as well. You mentioned her father, Bershawn Jackson, world champion, Olympic bronze medalist at 400 meter hurdles. They better watch for Brandini in seven. She always runs well here. <laughs> she made the U.S. team that went to Tokyo last year. She's come on, seven. come on. High school record holder, to start. Allison Felix. <laughs> and then, cool thing before they continue, Allison Felix has the meeting record here with uh, 2177. So that's pretty cool that, you know, let's see who could at least get close to Allison Felix meeting. Allison is just a legendary art, uh, you know, athlete. She has meet records everywhere, so it's pretty cool. But watch out for, I would say watch out for Prandini, Shelly Ann, and probably Kambunji because she did run last year. At um, After pre, she ran a couple of meets. And she got up very quickly on some of the other um, female athletes. I think she got on to a pretty good career by the time <laughs> her career is over. Women's 200 now is underway. The BD Women's 200. And Shelly Ann. Okay, Price look at Shelly Ann. She's already. Shelly Ann is working on like a, on a smooth curve. And the way she's been running lately too. Jenna Brandini kind of running on the home track. Is toe to toe there. Officially 22-42, winning here at 200 meters. Given the quality of this field, this is a dominant win by Shelly and Fraser Price. And in case you're wondering, what and I've been saying this a lot. Um, based on how I see Shelly Ann open up her season, as well as the way she just did in the 200 here at pre. 
she is in 10 1060 shape right now and even beyond you know she's making 106 not even important anymore after running 106 10 um 106 1060 1063 and then now 1067 like it's insane what she has planned well, why would Shelly and Fraser Price not have been in the hundred that was so hot to start our show? It's because when she lost at the Olympics last year, I think she said, I have to be able to hold my speed better. And man, did she hold her speed coming off of this turn with the lead. You're exactly right, Otto. She looks so committed to the finish of this race. Like, she knows it matters so much to how well she runs the hundred. She was really strong, really focused in the final phases of that race. Not particularly fast the time for her. She She's run much faster than this, but it was so important, I think, for her to win here today. Well, she said because she is the reigning world champion that has that wild card in July, she's changed up her schedule this year, trying to prepare for... A so I'm going to stop it here, but definitely... I believe that Shelly Ann might break the world record. I'm calling it right now, so you're probably going to be hearing it from me here, first person. I believe Shelly Ann might run a 10... a 10.46. I'm calling it. I'm saying it now. This is how I feel. She might run a 10.46 to win her fifth world championship um, gold. The second person that might come second to her will be Elaine Thompson Hira with a 10.47 or 10.48. And I'm not sure who might come in third. Um, it might be Shikari coming in fourth or third. Or Sharika Jackson might come in fifth. And depending on how Shakari's been looking lately, she might come in third, I believe. But it's going to be at least 10.55 or 10.56. I'm calling it right now. That's how I see the lineup of the World World Championship 100 meters um, lineup is going to be. 10.46 for Shelly Ann. 10.47. Four seven for Elaine or ten points um, ten forty nine for Elaine Thompson. I think she might go under the original record or even ten yeah ten fifty probably even and then um, Shakari Richardson. I think she might run at least a ten sixty or ten fifty five or even close to ten fifty as well. Better yet, I'll give Elaine and Shikari sli slightly the same time. But Shelly and I think she's getting the world record. She's smashing it. Alright. And as always, guys, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. A bigger crescendo in July when everyone comes back to Hayward Field for the World Athletics Championship Oregon 22. Shelly Ann Frazier Brooks, the winner over Brittany Brown and Antonique Strawn finishing in third in 2276.